So, can you tell me in your own words exactly what happened and what you saw to that man a few days ago? I'll tell you what didn't happen. Raptor never took a shower this morning. Hey, you be quiet. In any way, that's big talk from a guy I saw eating his own poop this morning. Guys, come on. At least act professional. I'm sorry, sir. Please continue. So yeah, like I was saying, I dropped into Fatal Fields on a solo royale. I just found a chest and I scored a heavy sniper with 14 bullets. So I was thinking this could be my game, you know? And I went to the roof and I had to look through my scope. And that's when I saw it happen. The noob was running away from somebody. So I followed him with my scope. Just as he stopped, I was about to take the shot and boom! This werewolf thing came straight out of the crops and tore him limb from limb. It was the craziest thing I ever did see, you know? What did you do after you saw the attack? Probably pooped his pants a little, just like Bonesy when that firework went off. <laughs> I literally hate you. I will send you both back to the car. Sorry, sir. Continue. Well, I kind of did do that. I mean, I, I, I ran away and hid. I waited for nearly 20 minutes before I moved, just in case that wolf thing saw or heard me. I was frozen with fear, you know? Yeah, I get it. I think I would have been too, given the circumstances. Did you manage to get a visual on the werewolf? Could you describe it to me? No, I'm sorry. It was dark. Uh, the, the sun just went down. I didn't think about waiting around to see if I recognized him. The uh, last time I checked, I don't know any werewolves, you know? Yeah, that's totally understandable. Okay, well, thank you for meeting with us. And if you do remember anything in the future, please contact me anytime. Wow, so the rumours are true. It really was a werewolf attack, and that guy was the first confirmed sighting. This is kind of scary, don't you think? Yeah, it's crazy, all right. Listen, it's getting late now, and we've been working all day looking for clues. Let's just all head home and get some rest. Tomorrow is a new day. Finally! I can't wait to chew through those hideous-looking sneakers in the hall. Hey, not cool, man. They're mine and they're brand new. Lil' Kelly, would you please talk to him? Man, oh man, what a day. I mean, the first crime scene and there's an eyewitness. All this excitement has given me a migraine. Oh, man. Do I feel run down? What time is it even? This day just ran away from me. Oh no. It's another full moon tonight. I hope no one gets hurt. I better get some sleep. By the time I get through with this DJ Yonder, he's gonna wish he never messed with my club. That stinking kid came out of nowhere, and now he thinks he can push me around out of my own business? <laughs> He's got another thing coming. Man, is it just me or is this place got all spooky since season six? I mean, I feel like someone's watching me. What the? Who's there? Listen, DJ Yonder, if that's you, I got some heat with me and I'm willing to use it. In case you don't know what I'm saying, I got a gun. <laughs> oh man, I must be hearing things. <laughs> I wasn't scared, I, I was just playing. <laughs> Now I heard something. It came from that container. Last chance to come out, Yonder. I swear I won't hurt you that much if you come out now.
wake up already. Get your butt downstairs. Hurry. What's going on? Are you okay? Is it the dog? Did he run away? <gasps> Did he poop on the floor again? You know, for a talking dog, you would think he'd learn how to go outside. Well, you know, for a grown man, you've got really small feet and a severe lack of facial hair. You ever notice that, Mom? I think Raptor might be a Rachel. Guys, quit it. I don't have time for this. Raptor, Sleuth just called. There was another attack last night. Oh, no. Is it anyone we know? I don't know. Sleuth couldn't really talk on the phone. He said there was way too many people around. He wants us to go down to the crime scene straight away. What are we going to do about Sir Chase's his own tail? Seriously, is there a pound we can put this guy in? I don't have time for your silly arguments, guys. Bonesy, you're coming with us. Raptor, get your stuff. I'll call Dyer and get him to meet us there. Hurry, let's go! It's about time, little Kelly. I'm starting to think you went back to bed. Sorry, dog and husband troubles. Anyway, who was it that got attacked? Is it anyone we know? I'm so sorry I'm late. My alarm never went off and my hot water isn't working. <laughs> Bonesy, stop that! Although, whoa, how long has your hot water been broken? You smell like wet dog. Wait. Do you own a dog? Uh, no, I don't have a dog. Uh, are we here to talk about my hygiene or the attack? <laughs> yeah, right, sorry. Sleuth, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. We caught the werewolf. Well, not actually caught him yet, but the person who got attacked survived, and he's willing to help us catch him. He's in pretty bad shape, but he managed to get away. He told me to contact him when we're ready with questions. This is amazing! Good job, Sleuth. Okay, Raptor, you take Bonesy to the doggy sitter and meet myself and Dyer at the witness's house. I can't, little Kelly. Carbide just called and said we have a situation of our own in the SSDHQ. I gotta go. Sorry! I'll go with you, little Kelly, and we can take Bonesy with us. I can carry him for a while if you'd like. No, thank you. I don't want to smell like dog. Okay, I'll keep him for now. See you later, Raptor. Dyer, let's go interview this witness. Listen, Dyer, let me handle the questioning. This guy has been through a serious trauma, and we need to show a bit of sympathy here. He might not remember everything now, so we gotta give him the time he needs. I totally understand. He must be one tough dude to fight off a werewolf and win. I'm kinda scared of him. <laughs> Sir, it's me, little Kelly, and my assistant Dyer. We spoke to you on the phone about the attack. We have a few questions for you if you don't mind answering them. Oh, yeah, sure. Come on in. Close the door behind you. Oh my goodness, it's you, Light Show? I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you feel happy to see me in this state. Listen, Sugar, we've had our differences in the past, but we need to work together here to catch this werewolf before someone else gets hurt. Okay, if you want to work together, the first thing is my name is Little Kelly, not Sugar. Call me that again and I'll find the werewolf and bring him here. Now, putting our differences aside, I'm glad you're okay. This werewolf thing is getting out of control. What can you tell me about it? Oh man, this thing was huge. It has huge big fang teeth, big shark claws, and a real evil look in his eyes. Oh, and it has a red bandana. Quite like your one, kid. Actually, exactly like your one. What? Like mine? R really? Yeah, it has the same detailing on it and everything. Huh, <laughs> funny, isn't it? You're probably a werewolf, and little Kelly brought you here to finish the job. <laughs> Yeah, Light Show. Dyer is the werewolf. <laughs> Come on, as if. Thanks for the info, Light Show. 
Be safe and get better soon. We'll be in touch. That's crazy. The wolf had the same bandana as I have. I mean, I, I bought it on sale from the golf shop over on Lazy Links. It must be where all the werewolves shop. <laughs> Wait, that's it. Maybe we could go there and find out who else bought one of these and narrow down our search. The shop has to have a history of sales, right? That's a great idea, Dyer. Quick, we better hurry. It's going to be another full moon tonight, and no one is safe until this werewolf is caught. <sighs> I don't trust this guy, little Kelly. Bonesy, stop that! You're being so rude. Sorry, Dyer, he's been up late the last few nights, so he's kind of crabby. Let's head to Lazy Links and see what we can find out. Oh man, it's all closed up. They must have heard about the attacks and closed up before dark. Smart, but it doesn't help us trying to find this werewolf. We must have just missed them. How are we going to get all those sales records now? Wait, you don't think the werewolf maybe stole it and might come back to the store to steal more? Maybe if we set up a surveillance station somewhere close by, but far enough so the werewolf won't see us, we might be able to stop him tonight. I mean, I guess that could work. Okay, well right now, it's our only lead. Let's set up over here, come on. Can I just say I think this is a terrible idea, and I think we should all go home and pee in Raptor's boots. <laughs> You're a funny little pooch. It's getting late though. I'm starting to fade here, little Kelly. I'm so hungry and tired. <sighs> Bonesy, if you do that one more time, you're sleeping outside tonight. With the werewolf. You're probably right anyway. This was a bad idea. I mean, if the werewolf did come, we don't have any backup. You do look really pale, Dyer. Are you okay? No, not really. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. All these late nights and early mornings are starting to catch up with me. Okay then, we better go. I don't want you getting sick or hurt because you're tired. It's starting to get dark, so let's get home before the moon is out. Uh, okay. That was strange. He just ran away. He didn't even say goodbye. Oh well, I guess he must be feeling pretty sick. Let's go home, Bonesy. About time. I'm freezing my tail off back here. And besides, I don't have a good feeling about that guy, and before you give out, I just have a feeling about these things. Call it a dog's sixth sense. I feel so strange. I don't know what's happening to me. What's going on? My face! My hair! I... I'm changing! What happened to me? It was me all along. I'm the werewolf. And I'm hungry for more. <laughs> Oh boy, what a day! I am pooped. Poor Bonesy must be so tired after running around with me all day. Oh, so the survivor turned out to be Light Show. He's okay, but pretty beaten up. He thinks that Dyer is the werewolf because he had the same red bandana on. <laughs> How crazy is that? What if that's not crazy, little Kelly? What do you really know about this kid? Oh, come on, Raptor. Fair enough I doubted you when it came to the whole werewolf thing in the first place, but come on. Dyer the werewolf? I just can't see it. All I'm saying is the second he shows up, people start dying from werewolf attacks. He's always tired in the morning, and he reeks of wet dog. Now there's an eyewitness who says the clothing he wears is like that on the werewolf. I'm just saying. For once, I have to agree with the fat man on this one. I think he's bad news. Oh, come on. You're both just being silly. Let's just watch a movie and forget about this whole thing until tomorrow, okay? Thank you! I can't believe that werewolf has followed me here. 
First it killed my grandma, and now it wants to kill me. Oh, I really wish I got a house in a built-up, busy area. What was I thinking, moving out to the woods all alone? Not today, Wolf. I am not dying today. No more, Mrs. Nice Girl. It's time for you to feel some pain. Hey ho, friendarinos! It's me, Raptor, and today I am reading your comments here on my lovely wife's channel. So, moving on up in the world, we're looking at who have we got here? Walrus King three 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 zero games. That's a lot of Walrus Kings. If that was uh, if that name was taken, uh, they say you should totally make Calamity or um, Jane use a love potion on Bright Gunner or Raptor. Uh, I would not like to have that done to me. So Bright Gunner it is. He's already in love with her. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, next up, Dominique Appleby. Appleby. That's a delicious surname. Says, I love Raptor. He's so funny and his voice suits him. I hope Raptor reads this. No. <laughs> well, you know, you're sweet. You're sweet as an Applebee, you are. Thank you so much. And last but not least, Brian Marino says, I know why Raptor never listens. It's because he has headphones on. And please, 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 please read my comment. That will make my day awesome. Well, you betcha, buddy. And, uh, yes, I have headphones on all the time, so it makes it hard to hear things. It's also a great excuse, so thanks for giving me that one. <laughs> well, that's all we have time for. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please leave a like on my wife's channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all very soon.